So welcome back fam. Had a great weekend slaying some deer on the property. One of you could be winning a hunt with us on with my wife this weekend. We have a doe problem that we've been trying to address, which we've gotten six does off that property between myself, my wife, and a friend of ours from out of town. So we're pretty much there in terms of our doe quota on that property, which really hasn't seemed to make much of a difference because we've still got way more than we need over there in terms of numbers and they take up a lot of the bedding real estate around there for the bucks so it was a lot of fun back over here ready to start filming for the week again so while trying to troubleshoot the radio not working in nasty red i got in the comments of the video a lot of people saying check your iod fuse iod fuse it's this fuse right there they were saying check that one with the plastic the yellow plastic guard on it and so um it was in fact blown it was bad and i'm not sure what caused it but it was blown so uh, you know looking at that i'm thinking okay maybe that is the solution and so i found another one i actually had in the shop it's also a 10 amp hopefully this one doesn't blow right away maybe this is it i mean who knows it could be it maybe it's not it and we're just still going to be on a goose chase but it could be our answer i mean the dome light just came on okay which that didn't work before put this blown fuse right here now let's see if we can get the radio lights to come on now remember everything behind the dash here has already been wired there it is look at that the iod fuse i cannot believe that honestly i'm honestly really surprised let's start nasty red she can idle and warm up a bit and get this we're gonna get this set up and then i'll let you know how it goes after i get it set up and then how it sounds with the new speakers that we installed and never really got to use well as you guys just witnessed right there again another video it's probably going to be demonetized because of playing music in it but i wanted you guys to hear it it does work now everything works that's awesome guys i was so stumped i couldn't figure it out and I didn't know what the IOD fuse meant. I have, I had no, I had no idea what that meant. And I had like five or 10 different people that were like, it's the IOD fuse, it's the IOD fuse, it's gotta be the IOD fuse, you gotta check that fuse. If it's blown, you know, your in-cab lights won't work, which do work now. Those aren't gonna work, your radio won't work. And I'm like, I have, why have I never heard of this? Why wouldn't it just be like the radio fuse, you know? So I don't know what it has to do with the radio, but, Thank you guys so much for the comments because now we've actually got a radio in Nasty Red and it works. Super excited about that. Now that we got some progress on Nasty Red, we got the radio sorted out. Let's get to finishing pressure washing down the Alice Chalmers WD-45 as much as we can. We did what we could the other day before a storm came through, but of course we didn't get to wipe it down with a towel to get all the little bit of grime off that won't pressure wash off so easily. We got to get some grime out from underneath here because that's very disturbing how nasty that is so we're gonna get to pressure washing this all down a little more a little more thoroughly and see just how nice we can get it here so i think we got this thing pretty darn clean i pressure washed off the bush hog as much as i could there's some like i don't know what that stuff growing some kind of like mossy scaly stuff growing on it and that stuff just won't come off but i got all the loose uh sod that was just kind of on there from over the years off and then i got the back step plate here is what i'm calling it got that all washed off and everything that i could get to i freaking hate that place i'm telling you everything that i could get to i got washed and so i thought about running it for a little bit it's got pretty much a full tank of fuel and uh, i did air the tires back up to what you know to what i could get them at uh, fronts and rear so i think i might actually pull it over into the pasture and just kind of mow around i don't know how much cutting it's really going to do just because uh, the pasture over there is not very tall at all. The grass is, I mean, you could easily mow with a lawn mower, but I just wanted to take this in a couple circles and just kind of see just how it's running again. Because I remember under a little bit of a load, it would start to sputter out and kill itself. And I kind of want to see if it's going to keep doing that or, or how it's running. Because I haven't moved it from this position since I've gotten it here and unloaded it. So let's get it pulled on over there and kind of see what it does. Okay, Let's see if she rips. Ooh. Wonder what's happening. Let's 
Seems like something's happening with the battery or the ground connection. Well, I'm not sure what the exact issue is with the Alice Chalmers right now, but it is not wanting to start. I have a feeling it's due to a weak battery, but who knows? I'm not really getting much of anything. I took the cable off here, cleaned up the connection to the starter. I actually took both of the cables off the battery and uh, cleaned the posts, cleaned the cable ends themselves. He is, of course, in the proper position to start. I actually took the grounding off of the chassis, the tractor there, cleaned it. Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I also pulled the starter out and made sure all the teeth were still good on it and the flywheel inside there. And it all looks good. He said that the starter was rebuilt about two years ago, last time we worked on it together. So everything looks good in there in terms of that. And uh, starter does spin uh, because obviously it, it turns it over. It you know tries to turn it over a little bit. But um, right now when I pull the ignition here, when I pull the starter here, like it does attempt It's just super, super weak. Like, yeah, it's just like tapping. It's just like hitting it to try to start it. And then it's just not going. Like I got like one really good go at it one time. And uh, I don't think it was recording, but I got a good pull and it, and it cranked over just a little bit more than that. And it fired it up and then it was running for about a minute and then uh, it died. Not sure why, could be water in it and stuff like that. You know, it's been sitting out here, it's been raining a ton. Uh, because when it did run it ran for probably a full minute or two and there was just water like spraying out of the stack until it like stopped spraying out and then there's no more water coming out and it ran for just a little bit longer and then it shut off again so i don't really know why it shut off and now it's just like the battery so weak that it's not letting me uh try to start it again so it's been doing a lot of just starting and then turning off and not really moving much so i mean that does do a lot of does do a lot of strain on the battery when you just start it up, hardly move it, and then park it again. It doesn't give it a whole lot of time to maintain a charge. So we're just gonna have to let it sit like that until it's charged up and ready to go. But do not forget that if you wanna enter to win this beautiful flatbed 12 valve Cummins plus $5,000 cash, right now every $1 is 20 entries to win, but the 20X entry deal does end on Wednesday, October 20th, and then that deal is over and 20X entries will not be back unless you buy mystery boxes. So just take advantage of that while you can before that deal is gone. It is going down to one X entry on Thursday. So if you want to grab 20 X, do it. I'm telling you guys, it might not look like everything you've ever dreamed of yet, but it's going to have super cool leather interior that's being fully built right now for the truck. It's going to have different wheels on it. It's going to have some other accessories and cool stuff happening. So stay tuned. Airbags are also on the way and will be here any moment. It's going to be really cool. Uh, this is one of those builds though that we're kind of doing in the first couple weeks of the giveaway it's just going to be getting finished so stay tuned and enjoy the progress but it is going to be getting done very very soon and it's not going to be one you want to miss out on well since we can't mess with the alice chalmers right now i thought we could mess with grandpa's truck and i'm going to start by getting some mirrors taken off here and putting some new ones on got the baby monitor up there while the wife runs to grab us some lunch but check out these bad to the bone little sport mirrors on this thing don't mess with them do not mess with them they're heated power they function but i wouldn't mind putting a nice heavy duty set of towing mirrors on here just because if nothing else it does help with visibility and it does look a little more aggressive so here's the new tow mirror we actually went with some fourth gen towing mirrors they're also heated and power let's get this new one popped in i got the old one popped out it was super simple just three little 10 millimeter nuts on there unplug the power control for the you know mirror adjustment knob on the side unplug the mirror and then it just pops out it's as easy as that so we're gonna put the studs in here and get this thing mounted on up Okay, so we took this cover off here, off the starter of the old Alice here, and it appears that there was some, um, I don't know what that material is in there. I don't know if it's like uh, some kind of fireproof like padding or whatever, but some of it had actually fallen off and there's still a little bit stuck on there. And it was actually getting on that piece of, it looks like copper there. So that when this, when you pull the starter, this would go down it would actually be 
pressing on that material and keeping these from getting a good contact uh, which is obviously what needs to happen for that to be able to ignite properly so to speak make that connection proper so it can you know hit the starter and properly start so we're gonna get this cleaned out here this should be our solution we'll find out though here in a minute and then if this is our solution then that's great we should be able to fire this thing right up after cleaning these pieces off here and uh, fastening it back on well i got the internals of that piece here all cleaned up so hopefully this works just turn the key on fuels on nothing i am so confused on what's going on well all my efforts on this today have been seemingly wasted started messing with this thing hours ago took a break started working on something else that i knew i could get progress on pretty easy which was the mirrors on that truck i'm like okay now i'll come back to the tractor just can't get anything i've i've literally taken off the cables cleaned the post put them back on put a charger on it for four or five hours in the middle of the day when i was working on doing other stuff come back to it still nothing took that piece off still nothing took the starter out checked all the teeth make sure it was it was still spinning good everything's fine the flywheel teeth everything's fine so i'm not really sure why it's not starting um because i got it running two other times today one time i started it and water came shooting out of the stack and then it was running totally clear totally fine and then I couldn't get it started again because the battery sounded like it was weak is what it sounded like. Don't know if that's what it was, but it sounded like it was weak. So that's when I put the charger on. Then after a while, I went over there after it was charged up and just pulled it and just fired right up. Cool. Well, then it just died. And I'm like, okay, I ran for a minute, then it died. Fuel was on. It didn't run out of fuel. And I'm like, okay, weird. And then I couldn't start it back up after that. It's been doing this little click, 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 like just, just nothing. Sometimes it would try to turn it over a couple of times and then sometimes it would just click click sometimes it would try to turn it so i don't really know what's going on with that um i'm gonna have to take another day to do that though because this video is supposed to be up today and it is currently five o'clock so i have got a lot of work ahead of me to be able to get this video up today yet this is going to be a project that's going to need probably a little bit more time of diagnosing and figuring out what's actually causing this because there's not much to these things so it shouldn't be anything big i just don't know what it is yet so i've done all the simple things that i feel like would be you know try these first type of easy problem solving things and those have not seemed to be it yet maybe i'm just overlooking something super simple which happens a lot hopefully tomorrow we can get that figured out another note check out this truck we did get the new mirrors put on this thing looks pretty good to me and some people would ask, you know, like, why the tow mirrors? Why the tow mirrors? Well, at some point here, I would like to get towing airbags. And then once I get this thing fully redone and the tractor redone, I'd like to be able to haul his tractor with his truck. I'd like this truck to be able to haul that tractor. And technically, it is capable of towing it in terms of what it's rated for. It is capable of hauling that tractor. It's not a very big tractor and trailer setup that I'm using. And so this truck with airbags, even without them, it would be fine. But with airbags, it would be, you know, ideal. It would be a totally great setup and i just feel like a little bit better mirrors might make it just a little bit easier when going down the road to be able to see what's going on behind you even if you do not flip them up still just keeping them like that there's just a lot more glass there's a lot more surface to be able to see what's going on behind you and especially with this cap on the bed believe it or not it creates a lot of blind spots and you know having a little more mirror actually might help with that as well being able to see down the sides of the truck and a little bit more so hopefully hopefully that helps and uh at a minimum it at least looks good you know at least i think so maybe it's just me and if you really want to go full moose power on them i mean you know what i'm saying like just just flip them dudes up and drive around like that and totally annoy people that uh, have a hate for tow mirrors being up because that's always a good time as well so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video today hopefully you guys got something out of it um if you could help me with the tractor thing those of you guys who know alice chalmers and the little quirky things that sometimes they need getting started i know there's not much to them and it's probably something very simple but if you guys have any tips or pointers that would be highly appreciated thank you guys so much for watching don't forget that if you want to get 20 x century swords winning this truck Plus $5,000 cash, your time for 20th Centuries is coming 
to an end on Wednesday. So you guys have just 48 hours left and then 20 X entries for this truck are gone and they will not be back unless you buy mystery boxes, of course, because it is going down to one X entry for everything else on the store. So thank you guys so much for all the love, all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.